Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Get to the Point video series. So we have a company called Talisoft that wants to move to the cloud. They have a domain controller set up currently with Exchange Server on premise and a few workstations. As you can see, what I've got listed down the side here, a couple of users. We've only got two in this demonstration, but obviously it could be a lot more than that. Uh, we have a service account called Tally Admin, which is our domain admin account as well. So really a very simple system with that we have an exchange server you can see with three different email accounts on them we want to move these over to office 365 and also we have here as you'll see the workstation set up so that we have uh, something to play with and uh, interestingly enough we have two Postfix inbound and outbound boxes. Now these guys live in the cloud. Uh, what they're doing is because we don't have port 25 ability to send from the demo system, we actually send on a different port number on 2500 and 2600 out to those boxes. They then do a translation out to the internet and transmit the mail. Vice versa, when email comes back in from the MX record, it points to that particular Postfix box, which knows to translate that into port 25 and um, sorry, from 20 port 25 into port 2500 and drop it into the on-premise box. We also have the AAD01, which I'm going to use later for the Azure AD Connect box. So just for now, just to show the mail system and how that is working, I'm going to just go in here and send Annie a very quick email. Test email. Hello, Annie and send it and drop over to the inbound you'll see that the postfix box as you can see is picking that up and it is now dropping that into the on-premise system and there we go and likewise just as a very quick test we send a hi back and that will go through the outbound system as you can see it goes from annie will then hit the internet and drop out and we'll see that one coming through my outlook.com account and there we go so we know that mailflow is working uh, nicely for this particular setup so what we want to do now first of all is create them an office 365 tenant which i will be doing in the next video so stay tuned during the playlist and that will be up next.